Okay, welcome everyone to the continuation of, of my What is Linear Algebra series. Today is, uh, the topic is what is matrix multiplication or really why the definition is not random. So in the end, I will show you some nice diagram how matrix multiplication works. And the only real advice I can give you is like, like with a multiplication table for numbers, just do it often enough. At one point, you will get the hang of it and it's all a matter of practice. More importantly, I will explain to you why, where it comes from. It doesn't follow all of the blue and how you should really think about it, which I said again, doesn't really help you to do the calculations. So um, yeah, we will come back to that, but let me just try to start by explaining actually what matrices are visually. They're operations on spaces. So I have here um, uh, four matrices. I don't look too much at, 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 the, at the numbers. There's some, some numbers involved, it doesn't matter. So some, I have four, what is it? Uh, two by two matrices. And I would like to think of them as being operations on, on R2 basically. So here you have R2, of course, all of these are R2s. And I have certain uh, shapes in R2. And it, it, it usually is a standard rectangle. Um, and what I really mean is I have this rectangle and then I have another rectangle. Um, oh, no, sorry, I have this rectangle and I have another rectangle sitting somewhere here and this one is blue. And I would like to see visually how those matrices act on on those shapes. And what this, these matrices are doing is um, they take this, for example, this matrix takes this shape and turns it about 60 degrees. So this is a 60 degree rotation matrix. Okay. Um, and it would take this shape and would turn it 60 degrees. And the re the, usually the way to read these, uh, at least in my notation, is that I have a, a colored shape which is in a darkish color, dark color. Uh, this is my starting shape and my end shape is the same color, but in a brighter color. So kind of a darkish purple and a brightish purple, uh, uh, whatever, a bluish thing and a, a very light blue thing. And so I rotate this box to here and I rotate this box to here. And depending where you, where you would put your box, you would have a slightly different action on space, but. This is a 60 degree rotation matrix. So you take your box and rotate it 60 degrees uh, in this direction. So rotation in the mathematical sense is always kind of counterclockwise. Uh, the other matrix that I have here is a shearing matrix, a 30 degrees shearing matrix. Um, and what it does is it, it shears everything by a by, by kind of a 30 degree angle. So it starts here with a standard rectangle and the output is this kind of slightly just skewed rectangle. It starts here with a blue, dark blue rectangle and what, it, what comes out is a slightly sheared rectangle. And then I have um, a green matrix, which is this operation. Uh, okay, and I have a blue matrix, which is this operation here. Okay, and the point is, um, and you can't see it right now, uh, maybe if you stare on those pictures for long enough, but this matrix here, let, let me give this a name, let me call this M, let me call this N. This matrix is first rotate, then shear. So this is matrix multiplication M times N. This matrix is first shear then rotate. So this is in first and then M. It's a little bit silly because people read in this direction. So this is M first, then N. This is N first, then M. And you can see this basically on the picture. So this is, I first rotate, so I've rotated a little bit and then I shear it. And here I first shear it into this picture and then you then I rotate basically this, um, this diamond 60 degrees and it will be a standing diamond. And the point is these matrices, the matrix multiplication in this case is built such that M times M is really this matrix 
which in, then describes this operation on space. It's a composition of the two operations above. And this matrix describes the same, the operation on space in the other way. So if I would have a, would to make a wish list and I already know, like, like I would have to, I would like to make a wish and I already know what matrices are and matrices correspond to actions on spaces, then matrix multiplication should correspond to composition of those actions, right? That's all I'm asking for. And that's exactly where you come up with the definition of matrix multiplication. So if you keep that in mind, in some sense, I'm saying that you could have invented matrix multiplication. Maybe not me, because I'm not very smart, but certainly you could have invented matrix multiplication. Um, yeah, and the first thing you would do is you would think of oh, oh, what are you actually saying, right? What, what are you saying? Your matrix is just a certain rectangle of numbers. So what do you mean by its operation on, on shapes and spaces? Well, so I would like to do the following. I have a standard vector, it's, 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 it's this one. It's uh, a standard vector in R2 and I have a bluish standard vector, it's this one and I have an orange types vector which is not a standard vector but it's this one. And I, I, I took the same matrix from before. So this one here is the M matrix. Um, so this gray M matrix, this is a matrix M and it acts on vectors in the following way. Um, it just, the, the, the image under the action of the standard first vector is just the first column, okay? The image, or maybe I should, maybe I should do it in, in this color. So here, this one is just the image of the vector. And this is how you would define this matrix times this vector. The image of the other one, of the other, other standard vector, is just the second column of your matrix. Okay, let's try to see this in the picture. So this, so this is certainly the standard vector. It goes one unit to the right and no units to, to, uh, to the north. So it's certainly the standard vector. This goes a half, yeah, goes half to the, to the this is oops, one over two to here. And whatever, so the square root of, which is roughly, uh, roughly this amount here goes this way. So this vector here, the action of, of the matrix on this vector is exactly the, the first column of the matrix. So I just define my vector multiplication as for this one being the first column. Similarly, um, if you would check this one here, it goes a certain amount, roughly this amount to the left and roughly one half uh, to the top. So actually it's really this vector. So I would define the multiplication on the second basis vector as just pick the second column. And that's kind of now the crucial definition If you want to define the action of a matrix on the vector, it should be just the sum, this definition. So you write your vector in terms of those two guys and just do it. So um, the action of my matrix on this, so I, I know what it, it's supposed to do geometrically. So let's look whether my, my uh, take columns and add them together actually really works. So this thing is of course minus one times the first standard vector, minus one times the second standard vector. So what I should do is I take I should take minus one times the first. Uh, so I should take minus one times the first column, and minus one times the second column. This should be my answer, and that's exactly what I do here. And if you check that what this vector is geometrically, then yes, it is this one. So this works. So the only, so this is how you multiply matrices with the vector. It's just, okay, on the, on the standard axes, zero, one, zero and zero, one, it, it's just more, more general if you have n cross n, you can imagine how it works. But let's say if two goes through, um, it just takes the first column 
that's your result. Take the second column, that's your result. Now I have a general vector like x, y. And x, y is of course nothing else than x times the standard vector plus y times the other standard vector. So you take x times the first column plus y times the second column. And that's what you put in, in, in your vector, right? x is a c and it goes together with x. Here is b t and it goes together with y. And that's your definition of matrix multi, matrix times vector. It's really just mimicking the action of the matrix on the space. And how would you do this now for for uh, for matrices? Let's say in this in this case I, I decided to do action on on on. I really should learn how to draw action on triangles. So if you have the standard triangle, which is a purple one here which just means I go the unit vector to here, I go to unit vector to here and I connect it in the triangle fashion. Then the action of the matrix just would just rotate that triangle. Um, just remember this was my M matrix, still the same. Rotate this triangle 60 degrees. And yeah, that's, that's what the matrix is doing. And you should get now a new triangle where this one and this one are the corresponding columns of your matrix. And you can check that this is actually really true. So um, whatever matrix multiplication is, it should, should be built such that this works, right? So it's just the same matrix itself. This is just M. So everything times the standard coordinate axis should be whatever you, you started with. It's, it's like a, a neutral element. You don't change anything. Um, and you can play the same game. You can think about this Sion type triangle and the, this is built of those two vectors and you will see where it ends up and it will be built of those two vectors. Uh, you can take the orange type triangle, it will be built of those two vectors and you look where it ends up, it will be built of those two vectors. So whatever your matrix multiplication should do is it should be, uh, let's say this times this equals this, because this is what geometry tells you. Right? Geometry tells you basically what you should do. And again, don't look too much at the numbers. This is just some random numbers basically I picked here. And this is how you would define matrix multiplication in this case, because this is exactly mimicking. Um, so this is, in, in my notation, this is a triangle. So this is E, F, E, G. And then there's another axis, uh, FH triangle. And the action is my acting matrix, M. And this is the new triangle I get, your new triangle. And if you would work out the geometry of this, this is what you should expect. So matrix multiplication in this case should be exactly defined as, as this one. Uh, let me see what's going on. So A and C, you will see A and C here. So you copy this, uh, the first row in this way, B and D, you will see B and D here. You copy it, E and G, you will see E and G, aha, oh, it changes order. So you e, e and G go in this direction, E and G go in this direction, A and B, uh, A and B were in this direction. And the last one would be something like F and H and F and H will go in this direction again. F and H, F and H, or in a nice diagram. So again, everything is built to be like the action, to encode the action on space. And the nice diagram, um, so I want to multiply my matrix a with my matrix B to get a matrix C. So I would like to do A, oh yeah, this was a bad color. Uh, a times B should be C. 
Um, and this is how I do it. So I take my matrix A, I, I, I take my matrix A, I put it a little bit down. I take my matrix B, I put it a little bit up. And on the bottom, I want to see my matrix C, okay? And what I do is um, I just take one of the rows of my matrix A, I take another row of my matrix B and I clap them together. This claps together in the following way. So this element I multiplied by this element. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This element I multiplied with this element. Maybe I should do it this way. I really clap them just together and clapping together means multiplying them. And then I add everything up and I get the corresponding entry in my matrix C. And this is how matrix multiplication works. It's again, it looks a bit random if you see it for the first time and you really need to practice it a lot, but it's built to encode those actions on spaces, higher dimensional in general, then, right? right? This is just two by two. But this is really why this is a natural definition. Let me let me say it again how this works. So um, you, you put your matrices in this fashion. You want to multiply uh, A, B, and C, A, A, A with B, and you clap them to you. You pick a row. You you pick a row. That's right. You pick a column. You clap them together, and you get one entry here. You pick another row. You pick another column. You clap them together. You get another entry here, and so on and so on. This is matrix multiplication. This is how it works. And this is this is why this is natural. Um, just as a word of warning to the end, well, we have already seen it. This was my first rotate and then shear. This was, uh, what was it? This was MN. And here I have MN. So matrix multiplication is not commutative. And this is just an example why it shouldn't be. My first rotate then shear is not the same as first shear and rotate. And in, in some sense, you couldn't, you, you can't expect operations to be commutative. And we are all biased because we, we, we learned numbers basically from kindergarten onwards. We learned that multiplication of numbers is commutative. But if you really think about it, like matrices are operations, operations are usually not commutative. Commutative is just a fancy word of saying, it doesn't matter in which order you do them. Just a, a really good example. Um, opening the door and then going through the door is certainly not the same as going through the door and then opening the door, right? So one of them is, is what I do every day. And the other one, I, I would recommend to do it. So life is not commutative. Operations are not commutative. Why should matrix multiplication be commutative? And it isn't. And here's just one example. Um, but yeah, but that's basically it. Um, matrix multiplication doesn't fall out of the blue. It's motivated by geometry. Uh, it might take a while to really learn it in practice and it's a bit painful to do, but it's easy for a computer. So I would recommend to just do a few examples, maybe using this, this, um, this approach, like putting them in merging rows and, and columns in the right order and do a few examples. And if you're, uh, Familiar enough, like with a multiplication table for numbers, just just ask your computer. Anyway, thank you very much, and I hope to see you next time.